Bahrain has been ruled for years by a monarchy which possesses absolute power over its people. When demonstrators flooded the centre of the country's capital in February 2011, demanding dignity and democratic reform, they were met with ruthless force. Peaceful protesters were killed and tortured. This is the same country our government licensed weapons like snipers and assault rifles to less than a year beforehand, a product of long-standing military ties between Britain and Bahrain. Indeed because of this, British licensed arms more than plausibly aided this 2011 crackdown by the Bahraini monarchy. Saudi armoured vehicles, which rolled into Bahrain to help suppress these demonstrations, were produced by the British arms company BAE Systems. In the decade since then, Bahrain has only become even more oppressive, sliding 20 places in international democracy rankings. That is huge. Yet, Britain has only sought to strengthen ties with Bahrain, even building a permanent naval base there. Our then Foreign Secretary said in 2015, Bahrain is, quote, seeking our support to help them reform. The data shows this is a farce.